Hi friends, welcome to our mathematics program for grade 8. Today we're going to look at the second part on rate and proportion. Remember, in the first part, we have seen what are rates and how to convert compound units, right? In this video, we'll see together how to use scales and how to use indirect proportion. So let's start. Now, scales. Scale drawings show a real object with accurate sizes. That's very important. The sizes are accurate that have been reduced by a certain amount. How is it written? Scales, well, it is written as 1 is to A, where A is the matching real length. So, a scale on a map of 1 is to 50,000, it means that the real length is 50,000 times as long as it is on the map. Thus, generally we have a scale of 1 is to N, it means that 1 centimeter on map represents an actual distance of N centimeters. Let's see an example. Here you've got the distance between vacua and cupip. It will be rather difficult for you to represent 4.8 kilometers on a map. That's why we use the scale. Here it is. That's the scale. We see an example together. A map is drawn to a scale of 1 is to 50,000. The distance on the map between alpha and beta is 8.4 cm. You are asked to find the actual distance in kilometers between the two towns. How do we proceed? We know that 1 cm on the map will represent an actual distance of 50,000 cm. Right? So, 8.4 cm. What do we need to do? You just need to multiply it. So that will be 50,000 multiplied by 8.4, which gives 420,000 centimeters. But then you're asked to find the actual distance in kilometers. What do we need to do? You just need to convert it. So one kilometer is 100,000 centimeters. So 420,000 centimeters, you divide it, 420,000 divide by 100,000, you're getting 4.2 kilometers. Therefore, the actual distance between alpha and beta is 4.2 kilometers. Second example. Now, a map is drawn to a scale of 1 is to 100,000. The actual distance between the SSR Botanical Garden and the Naval Museum is 36.79 kilometers. You are asked to find the distance on the map between SSR Botanical Garden and the Naval Museum. How do we proceed? Now, 100,000 centimeters actually is represented by one centimeter on the map. So one centimeter will be one over 100,000 on the map. So 36.79 kilometers. First, we convert it into centimeters. So that will be 3,679,000 centimeters. How do we do it now? So 1 over 100,000 multiplied by the 3,679,000, you will get 36.79 centimeters. So we can say that the distance between SSR Botanical Garden and the Naval Museum is 36.79 centimeters. Another example, 
The actual distance between Flicanflac and Albion is 8.84 kilometers. This is represented on the map, as you can see here. So this is represented by a distance of 4.42 centimeters. You are asked this time to find the scale that is used. Well, 4.42 centimeters on map represents 8.84 kilometers. We are given this information. So, 4.42 centimeters on map represents 8.84 times 100,000. So that we get the answer in centimeters. So that will be 884,000 centimeters. Now, one centimeter on the map, what we need to do, you just need to divide it. So that will be 884,000 divided by 4.42, which is 200,000. Thus, we can say that the scale used is 1 is to 200,000. Now, these are a few exercises for you to practice. Question number one. A map is drawn to a scale of 1 is to 500,000. The distance between Roche Noire and Réduit is 28.13 kilometers. Find the length in centimeter on map between Roche Noire and Réduit. Question 2. The actual distance between Pont Maturin and Plain Corail is 11.16 kilometers. The length on a map is 22.32 centimeters. What is the scale of the map? Question 3. Saif is constructing a model of part of a ship. The actual length of the part is 268 meters. The scale of the model is 1 is to 800. You are asked to find the length of the model. Right. Now let's see indirect or what we call sometimes inverse proportion. Two quantities are said to be inversely proportional if one quantity increases at the same rate as the other quantity decreases. That's very important. When one increases, the other will decrease, but they are both at the same rate. What do I mean by that? Well, when one quantity, suppose quantity X, you're multiplying by 2, to get quantity Y, you need to divide it by 2. You can't divide by 5, for example. If you are multiplying by 5 for quantity x, for quantity y, you need to divide by 5. And if you are dividing, suppose, by 8 for quantity x, for the quantity y, you need to multiply by 8. Right? So we see that when one is increasing, the other is decreasing, but as I say it again, it is decreasing at the same rate. Let's see an example. Suppose that we have two workers, right? Now, they can do a particular task in 10 days. How many days will five workers working at the same rate take to do the task? Let's see. Well, we know that two workers the two workers are taking 10 days so if we want to know for one worker well two to become one we need to divide it by two so if we are dividing one quantity by two what do we need to do for the other quantity well you need to simply multiply it by 2. So one worker will take 10 times 2, which is 20 days. Now, you are asked how many days will 5 workers take? Well, one worker will take 20 days. One 
To make it become 5, you need to multiply it by 5. That's correct. So if you are multiplying one quantity by 5, what do we need to do to the other one? Well, we need to simply divide it by 5. So 5 workers will take 20 divided by 5, which is simply 4 days. You need to be careful with indirect proportion, right? Second example. One teacher takes 80 minutes to mark 30 scripts. How long will 10 teachers take to mark the same 30 scripts? How do we proceed? Well, we are given the information that one teacher takes 80 minutes. Okay, so we need to find what? We need to find the time taken by 10 teachers. So, for, quant for the first quantity, we need to multiply it by 10 because 1 times 10 is 10. So if you are multiplying a quantity by 10, for the second quantity, you simply need to divide it by 10. So 80 divided by 10 is 8 minutes. Therefore, the 10 teachers will take 8 minutes to mark the 30 scripts. Let's take another example. It takes 4 men 12 hours to paint a house. How many men will be needed if the house needs to be painted in three hours, given that they work at the same rate? We always start with the information that we are given in the question. So we have 12 hours for men, right? Okay, so what do we do? We find for one hour. 12 to become 1, we divide by 12. So if we are dividing by 12, on the other side, we need to multiply by 12. Therefore, in one hour, if we want the house to be painted in one hour, we shall need 4 times 12, that's 48 men. So in three hours, what do we do? One to become three, we need to multiply by three. If we multiply by three here, we need to divide the other quantity by three. So that's 48 divided by three, which is 16 men. Therefore, 16 men will be needed to paint the house in three hours. Now, these are a few exercises for you to practice. Question number one. If eight men can do a piece of work in six days, how many days will 12 men take if they work at the same pace? Question number two. A cab has provisions for 225 men to last 52 days. How long will the provisions last if 180 men are sent to the camp. Question 3. If 18 persons can clean a garden in 8 hours, how many persons are needed to do the same work in 24 hours? Question number 4. 15 machines are required to produce toys in 40 days. How many machines will be needed if the same number of toys need to be produced in 25 days? Question number 5. 20 workers are paid a total of 58,000 rupees for a project. If the company hires only 8 workers, how much money will the workers receive? Now, here are some links for you, right? You've got the first one, which is on map scale, and the rest are on inverse proportion. So, dear friends, what have we done today? Well, we have talked about scales and how to use them in practical situation. We have shown to you how to use inverse proportion, right? What 
do you need to do now? Well, you are, ad you are advised to work out the exercises given in this video together with the exercises in your book. You need to do it, it's very important. So until we meet again, it's goodbye.